Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to insert comments in your M code. So here I have the sales data and let me open this in the query editor. So I would click anywhere in this data, go to the data tab and click on from table range. This opens this data in the query editor and you can see there are two steps here, source and changed type. Now, if I go to the view tab and click on advanced editor, it opens this dialog box that has the M code. And this M code is for these two steps. First one is for the source and the second one is for the changed type. Now, uh, Power Query often inserts this step by itself. So it tries and identifies the data type and it inserts changed type by trying to convert these into, let's say this is, would be a date type, this would be a text type. If I don't want the change type step, then I can comment it out. And when I comment it out, it remains here in the uh, code editor, but Power Query would not consider it as something that it needs to execute while reading this query. So to comment this out, I can use two forward slashes if it's a single line of code. So if the entire code is in one single line, which you see is the case, then I can use this. And now Power Query is not going to consider this line as something that it needs to execute. But you cannot just simply comment out something. You also need to make other required changes. So for example, in this case, because this is now the only line in the code and it is also the last line in the code, it cannot have a comma in the end. So I need to remove the comma. Also, the last step is source and not changed type. So I need to change this part here and I need to make this source. And now when I click done, see what happens. The, the change type step is no longer here in the applied steps and I only have source. And now if I go back to advanced editor, you can see this is commented out. Everything is fine. It's just that Power Query is not going to execute this line. If you want this line back, then you can remove these two forward slashes and then you will have to make all those changes, which would be have a comma here because this would be the last line and make this changed type. Now commenting out is useful when you are writing your own M code. So for example, you're adding a few lines and then later you want to remove these lines or you don't want Power Query to execute these lines, but you don't want to delete those. You still want to keep this in the code. Maybe you are testing it out, then you can comment it out. If you have more than one line, then in that case, you cannot use two forward slashes. You will have to use something such as a forward slash and an asterisk at both end of the code. So let me show you one thing. Let's change this code back to the normal. So I'll have a comma here and I will change, copy this part here and make this the last step. So this is again back to from where we started. We have this step here and let me make one minor change. I would come here and I would replace the first two characters, which would be KL here. So I would replace KL with nothing so that it introduces this steps replaced values. Now I have three steps in the code. Now, if I go to advanced editor, you can see as expected, there are three lines of codes. And if I want to comment out these two lines, then I can come here and I can say forward slash, sorry, forward slash asterisk. And then at the end again here, I would come back and say asterisk forward slash. So anything between these two asterisk and forward slash. So it starts with forward slash asterisk and ends with asterisk forward slash. Anything between these two would not be executed by Power Query. This would be commented out. So again, I would have to make the necessary changes because this becomes the last line. So I have to remove the comma. I have to come here. I have to make this source. And now when I click on done, the first two steps, the, uh, the last two steps are gone and I'm left with the source step only. So commenting out is a, a good thing if you want to write your own M code and you want to experiment with it, you want to test it out, then you can comment out some lines and see uh, what impact your code is having or what transformation it's doing. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.